These stories hinge on words like spontaneity, connection, emotion, and awe. What they have in common is a state that psychologists call flow. Everyone in this room has experienced the state at one point or another. That moment between of unity between the body and the mind where you are totally absorbed by and completely focused on a task beyond the point of distraction. Time feels like it slows down as you become one with the present moment. Your senses are heightened as you become one with the task as action and awareness combine to create effortless momentum. As artists, we are intimately familiar with this state, as we call it being in the zone. The exciting thing is that flow is accessible to all humans, whether you are involved in a physical activity, a creative pursuit, or even an everyday office task. It's our birthright. What's really interesting about flow, and something that I wish more town planners and developers knew, is that it can be created by our environment. So for example, when you walk down a straight and narrow street from point A to point B, it's really easy to get lost in our own thoughts, distracted in our own heads, and we lose touch with the present moment. By contrast, when we walk down a winding and interesting street, surrounded by art, nature, and trees, we become enticed to engage with our surroundings. We take it in with all of our senses, and that activates different parts in our brain. We sense and perceive our environment. Flow can also be created within cities themselves. Cities, after all, are created by the movement, not just of cars and goods and physical materials, but of people and ideas. Successful cities encourage people to meet spontaneously and serendipitously, fusing new social connections and sparking innovative ideas. They are social reactors and all about flow, alive and animated, not blocked behind walls or wheels. Right now though, most cities don't do this. The flow is blocked. Cities are suppressing our collective and individual potential, but also our immune systems. Our cities are making us sick, along with the planet. But it doesn't have to be this way.